lot of complaints tonight about federal immigration agents and a tactic that critics say that they're using more and more often, busting people inside of courthouses. Kick on Elsa Ramon is live in Pasadena tonight with those concerns. Elsa? Well, Jeff, an arrest did happen here by ICE on the sixth floor of the Superior Court here in Pasadena. The attorney whose client was taken away by ICE says he hasn't seen him or heard from him since, and he's very concerned about the precedent this sets for people who want to come forward and help solve crimes but are now afraid of being deported. I told him they were from Immigration and Customs and they were there to take him away. Criminal defense attorney Octavio Chaidez never thought he would see one of his clients taken into custody by Immigration and Customs Enforcement at the Pasadena Courthouse. He had just finished a criminal court appearance with his client when he says four ICE agents swooped in, confirmed his name, and took the man away. Chaidez wouldn't say if his client had a criminal past. It was very shocking because it occurred inside of a courthouse and the reason for the detention had nothing to do with that proceeding. Chaidez says he is among many attorneys and prosecutors who are now worried ICE arrests at courthouses will create enough fear of deportation among witnesses or victims of crimes to affect the outcomes of cases. They may refuse to contact the police. They may refuse to uh, give testimony as a witness. They may refuse to show up in court. And, and that affects the entire system. Chaidez also adds the threat of deportation erodes the trust built in the non-English speaking community to persuade them to come out of the shadows and help solve crimes. If those people are worried that their uh, residency is going to be in jeopardy or they don't have any status to be here in the country, then in that situation they may not contact the police at all, even if they uh, witnessed uh, a, a very serious crime. Chida says there are ways people who are afraid of being deported can still help in cases. Sometimes, in some cases, their attorneys can appear for them. Also, they can show up in court only when it's necessary and leave right when they're done testifying.